Flogcast may occasionally contain explicit content that makes it not safe for work or for minors. It also doesn't provide an excuse to just use the same words on Bay 13. Normal big footy rules still apply. <laughs> So this is the vlogcast for preliminary final week. The tear-soaked tiger Starburns is here, and I'm joined by a big cast this week, starting with the mayor of East Geelong, Teach. Honk, honk. The bravest supporter of the bravest club, Morgan Ashley. Woody. Our favourite drinker of the Kool-Aid from Essendon, we have Hadouken. Bosk is a cunt. <laughs> 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 the number one fan of Melbourne Best and Ferris winner, Bernie Vince. You don't know Jack? Hi, everyone. Number two fan. Mr. Moral Victory from St Kilda. We have Cookson. Are you going cocaine, you Jack? Because that was really high. <laughs> oh, it was meant to be a very positive hello. Hi, um, everyone. I'm trying to be more positive the last few weeks. Oh, I don't upset the players. The number one fan of Hawthorne's Power Ranger Guernsey. He's pumped after they won last week. Penal. Oh, goo goo gajoob. <laughs> What the hell is that? <laughs> He's the gurus. <laughs> Which is funny because walruses, yeah. Um, and finally, from north, once again, another winner, we have Dan. Hello. Let's begin with goo or tears. I've got goo. Oh, That's unlike you. Hodgy is my goo because what a good bloke and what a good performance. <laughs> Inspirational. That is what being a captain is all about. He's okay, truly uh, redeemed taking... himself, yeah. and you know he's back in number one in best bloke of Australia competition. <laughs> Penal's got on the drink early this week, it seems. I love um... you, Hodgie. Have my baby. <laughs> on, field or, on field or pub, though? What are we talking about? Both. I mean, you know, I like a drink, so I'd get on really well with Hodgie. So he did kick a good goal. I liked the goal. Yeah, the goal wasn't bad. He's still a cunt. <laughs> like boss. <laughs> 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 Who wants to go next? I have Goo. The North beating the cheating shit trucks that are known as Sydney and expelling their boring, dull, batshit football from my TV screen. So cheers, North. Adios, dickheads. Yeah, thanks, North. On that note, we'll go to Dan before anyone else chooses North. Um, What's my Goo? Or tears? Did you have one lined up? No, no I didn't. Yeah, thanks no. Thanks for coming to me. <laughs> Sorry. No, we, we'll, I'll, let, I'll let you gather your thoughts. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. What about your man Goldstein? <laughs> oh, but that was a given. He was always going there. Who else wants to have a crack? I have Goo for North. Um, no. for fulfilling we know my, that. Shush. For fulfilling my prophecy of making a prelim, I am absolute Flogstradamus. You all laughed at me. You're a bunch of dickheads. I was right. You're not as much a Flogstradamus as Goo, you pups who predicted Jake Stringer as all Australian back in April. Yeah, it's a shame that he got sucked down the bath hole. Okay. I'll go next. I've got tears. Tears for the all Australian selectors. And you know who's happiest about Surioli getting selected to the all Australian team? Dermot? Dan? No. Bruce? Nick Maxwell, mm-hmm. because he's no longer the least deserving all Australian ever. Really? Least deserving all Australian selection ever. Surioli 2015. Scratch out Nick Maxwell in whatever fucking year that was. It's just like how Anthony Rock was saved from the worst 200 game player by Anthony Rocker. So <laughs> it's the same that's thing. That's bullshit, Starburns. But anyway, Cyril's a what, gun. What? You're just jealous that he is so much better than Shane Edwards. Seriously, what's, bu- what's bullshit about that? Rioli did not deserve to make that team. Rioli is a great player. He, des- he deserves his AA. His stats were pathetic. His output's what? average. Which he goes position was he put in? Is he in the He's run? put on the half forward flank ahead of Sean Higgins. What a joke! Absolute joke. Is Betts in? Betts made the pocket. Yes, Betts made the pocket, but of Higgins course. missed out. Put it pocket. <laughs> if Sir Rioli was a guy called John Smith from the eastern suburbs of Melbourne, he would be regarded as the most overrated player in the history of this competition and inconsistent as fuck. <laughs> Any other player playing on the half forward line, only averaging ten touches a game, would get dropped. Let alone making all Australian. Mm, he, he does stuff that no other player in the competition 
competition can do. Every time yeah, I none hit, of those are good things. Like every time it's dive. go missing. Miss every time from I hear line. someone say I wouldn't Cyril be surprised is overrated. To see him in bottom 50. Every time I hear someone say Cyril's overrated, what I really hear is, hi, I'm a fucking idiot when it comes to football and know nothing. <laughs> no, maybe, maybe they're actually saying, I'm not just interested in the highlight reel. Yeah, because not everyone is. You know who else has a great highlight reel? Chad Wingard. You know what else Chad Wingard does? Racks up 20 disposals a game and two and a half goals. 20 and two and a half. It's not about raw possession it's about numbers. It's about it's impact. Yeah, it's, it's not It's not about actual impact on a game. It's about being visible, no, standing it's, out. It's about filling that 30-minute show about yourself. He's a bit mm. Rockcliffe-esque. Oh. He's very Rockcliffe-esque. At least Rockcliffe, Rockcliffe gets disposals. Yeah. Let's move on. Hang Who on, I haven't done a given to Yeah, I know. I, I mean, move on from Rioli, because Dan's still waiting to figure out what I've still got is. nothing. <laughs> Uh, my, my, I, um, goo is, my, my goo is for um, Boomer Harvey. Next year, he's going to break the all-time record of games played, and he will still do it. If you get on his bandwagon now, Teach, he's going to break his leg in round one. No, 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 no. <laughs> Probably gonna, this week. He's going to do, do it knee or something. in a way that still contributes to his side. It doesn't I'm just like a certain contribute. antique um, who pretty much was a fossil for, you know, uh, like there's, the last two there's years. There's a difference between the other 400 game yep. up. Like, he fell over the line. Boomer has absolute charge through it. He's not just contributing. Hang on, oh, are these references to Fletch? No, nah, no, nah, I'm not saying sure. anything. Nah. He's fantastic. He's the line. He was he's injured. Gonna, he's going to go. He's going to go all the mate, way. Mate, mate, he's he's be... Boomer's had a mixed week. North made the prelim, and you know there was that scandal about his misses and David Cameron. <laughs> so, hey. well, there's more than enough of her to go around. Japanese whaling fleets yeah. have been seen circling their place, but <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't even believe that rumor. There's no way two people would fuck her. Oh, gosh. I'd go we, there. We, we, we know three when you go there. <laughs> Admit that. Who else wants to go? I've got a goo. I'm loving the idea of Chris Yaron to Richmond. Oh, yeah. oh, that was meant to be my tears before tonight. You're going to have to decline. And, and, and if he does well, welcome to the exes, Chris Yaron. Continue to embarrass Carlton. If he fucks up and is bad, welcome to Richmond, the only club in the AFL that can't turn an exer into a decent player. We turned Greg into a good player. No, you didn't. No, you just we did. you turned him into your seventh goal player. <laughs> you didn't. He's a shitbag. <laughs> you can talk. He would be your third best player currently. Oh, fuck off. He would not. He wouldn't. Oh, he would. No, I don't. think he would. That's a bad deal. <laughs> Hamp's going to be John's number one Ruckman. <laughs> <laughs> That, no, that is true. Fucking... That is true. You fucking shut up, Jackie. I'll be <laughs> but does he make you moist, Jack? Oh, of course. He should. He's he a does. damn fine looking Oh, he does. I do not like the Aaron thing. I'm really not happy about that. If we be part with anything more than pick 31, I'm going to be enraged. Uh, you're, that, you're dreaming if you think you're only going to part with 31 for it. Not sure. But he's not worth any more. He's not, he's not worth any more than that. And hopefully some desperate club comes in. He is. Um, like Brisbane and goes. Stanley scale of trade he is. Yeah, the Stanley scale of trade does not apply because that fucks everything. That makes bloody, you know, that makes Dodoro seem reasonable. So, all right, that's it. Dodoro, <laughs> fuck it. Give me one example of him actually being hard to deal with. First round pick and Ollie Wines for Paddy Ryder. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds fine to me. <laughs> What's the problem? Of course it sounds fine to you. You're on the winning end of it. <clears throat> that's his job. He's got to win trades. He's trying to win trades. That's what they do. But he hasn't won one. He just makes it so There's ways of winning he... trades. Like, like Collingwood did on Dane Beans like without actually you know, asking for the world and not getting it. Like we're getting rid of Melsham for anything. Yeah, well, there you go. You no. that. So. Poor Jack. No. Poor, poor Melbourne. And They've had to suffer through the last 10 years, and now they're recruiting Jake Melsham. Just like oh, what punishment to positive? Punishment. No, I couldn't be worse. Be positive. Is that, Melsham no, is he, a good is that player your tears? compared to a Jack. Um, actually, yes, that is my tears for the week. Jackie, just think you could sing yep. that song. Hey, I'll sing it for him. Cheer him up. Oh, no. Not done that again. Bring my, not paddle. Oh, Melksham spring to the yard, my brick. Melksham brings the boys to the yard. Yeah, that's how it goes. <laughs> Yeah, we don't need the visuals to back that Like on Yaron, I just hope some desperate club like Brisbane who can't help but recruit midfield types come in and offer more for him when we refuse and that's where he ends There's up. There's only one club that wants Chris Yaron and that's Richmond. And that means we won't part with pick 31. Hopefully they'll just make, they'll say, well, no. come. No, you can say half? goodbye to Ben Lennon, mate, because he's going. So are you going to give him the captaincy now that you don't have one? <laughs> yeah, because no one's found Trent Cotchin. He's still missing. <laughs> Oh, where, oh, where, so <laughs> 
No, I saw him on the... Um... He appears to have taken a few players with him this week, just quietly, but um, who hasn't gone? Jack. I haven't, but I've got yeah. so skip me. Yeah, I never have any goo when my team makes a prelim. You're a fucking goose, Dan. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> fucking listen. Oh. Get around me, Dan. Come on. Have goo for Kanye. Yeah, have goo for the late inclusion. Okay, I'll have goo for... This is forced goo. I don't really have goo, but it's being forced out of me, unwillingly, for <laughs> Kanye Turner. Who, he was subbed out, wasn't he? I don't know, was he? I think he was. So, yeah, that's my goo, ladies and gentlemen, for the player that came in and got subbed out at the last quarter. Oh, but he knocked some people over, didn't he? Did he? Is that all he does? That's all I hear he yes. does. He, he does knock out. He did, Jack he did ta- he tackled somebody, some I'm sure. Oh, yeah, he did lay a good tackle in the first yeah, quarter. Yeah, I'm Jared McVay. Yeah, good, oh, good, good for McVay. you, Kanye. Yes. Done, Kanye. Yes, Free. I'm just overloading the goo right now. It's like... Drowning. Dan needs to read Ruzzi's post. I, 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 need, I need living less quickly. I'm, it's just overflowing. Let's move on then, because I'm pretty sure that was everyone, because half the people picked North. Except for Dan. Yeah, except for Dan. It's like tipping last week. Oh, I'm picking West Coast. What? Tip? <laughs> <laughs> oh, tipping. Yeah, West Coast. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gee, 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 gee. Uh, that was the vlogcast for prelim final week. Hey, next week. <laughs> Thanks for coming. Bye. <laughs> Let's go to North versus the Colas. We'll start with that game. It was a bit of a dull and trudged game to watch. It was a I mean, crap game. But it's that was the most boring trudged. game in a long What the hell time. is trudged? Turgid, you mean? It's, it, it's fucking Nick, yeah, the English language is fucked. Translation, shithouse. Trudged, that's a paddle's a lie, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> I don't know. I enjoyed this game. It was good to watch the Colas get, you know, bundled out and get their asses oh, okay. handled. Apart from that, though, Sydney Frio was a higher standard than this. Or yeah. a better spectacle, should I say. I mean, and there was no Sydney supporters in the state. I mean, what? Semi final. Your club's one been one of the best of the last few years. And what, 30,000 of you show up and think it's a fucking rugby? Well, it was a perfect way to farewell Homebush, that absolute shit heap, which, just off the top of my head, I've never seen a good game of football played at. There was one, that semi final loss where Sydney beat Carlton. That was a good game. Oh, that was a nice yeah. game, yes. I, I went to one that was good for calling. Hey, Jeb. Me. Sorry, that's all I came up with with happy Carlton moments in the last 15 years. <laughs> oh, I don't even have one. <laughs> oh, it's happy for uh, me. Probably not be. What about when they recruited Daisy? No, oh, that time <laughs> that they beat you in the final. That was funny. <laughs> Fuck off. No, but back to that game. Like, Did Jared was an ugly kick game. A, he kicked a few goals. Yeah, it was, it was a very ugly Three, game. It was, good, it was Goods' last game as well. Then he oh, went man. out as he usually oh, does, gosh. being a sniping <laughs> little trudged. Are you... Are you, are you... <laughs> trudged. <laughs> no, no, trudged actually works because, you know, when you trudge, you kind of use your feet in a kicking out motion. That's what trudging <laughs> is. And that's how he walked True. off the ground. He trudged. But, you know, it was a pretty... Pretty average game. North North got the win, as we all predicted. We weren't trolling you, Dan. We thought they were going to win, and they did exactly as everyone expected. Yeah, unanimous tipping of North, even though that's never happened on, on here before. Sorry for being a little sus. You're welcome. <laughs> You're welcome, Dan. Don't worry. I don't think it'll be happening this week. But well, that's just oh, how well, bad Don't you think are. I'm still on the North no. bandwagon? <laughs> it's such um, a lovely day. It's such a lovely day. He's already crashed one bandwagon this week. He's crashed the Skype one. but um, Some highlights from... Sydney's performers, Lewis Jetta, went missing again. I mean, he was more invisible than Cochin in his final. He was terrible. Pike had his ass handed to him. Longmire was asked about him and basically said in the aftermath that, like, someone asked had he checked out a while ago, and Longmire basically said yes. Like, then why the fuck are you playing him? Because they got no one else who provides <laughs> runners. They've, they've got no depth. The buddy contract has eaten up all their depth, and isn't it delicious? And they've got a concession on the trade ban because he's leaving, but are they going to replace him with anyone? I doubt it. Like, what are they going to get? For- <laughs> we'll come to that he fits the culture surely but anything else on that game look it was it was pretty shit it was a pretty trudged affair well North dominated it. happy yeah. just to get the win really North were in control of that game from very early on yeah. they, they never put it away but they never really looked like getting reeled in yeah, the but I mean once, 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 it, wasn't really. once it got out past once it got Jared out past Wade three goals you could never potential. Jared Wade is yeah as someone said Mr. September hmm. is that like now five or six finals with three goals at least in each of them mm-hmm. yeah it's, it's like some ridiculous statistic and it's this is the potential the potential was finals potential obviously well, and it's just Carlton could never make the most of it it's just well, let's, make finals uh, enough. Let's, let's see how he does uh, next weekend because uh, if he's Mr. September let's see well he's, he's against West Coast who are you know depleted down back so he could get off the leash the good, the good news is uh, the grand finals in October so we won't have anything to worry about 
Yeah. Anything else on North versus the Colas? Tarnington was good. Good's got booed. Good's got cheered. He's retired. Good's it's over fine. now. He got a fine. He had everything. He played a pretty good game. He's, they should convince him to go around because he's probably going to be their fastest player next is year. Is he going to go to the what? grand final or not? Or is he? I think, um, he's, I think he's waiting to see who's playing. If there's Hawth- if Hawthorne or West Coast are there, I don't think he's going. No, nah, um, he's not What going. I did like about it was watching mm-hmm. Reese Shaw get carried off while Adam <laughs> Good's just trudging off like a How fucking... How the hell did he get a guard of honour? Oh, sure. because... Surely that brought a tear to Starburns' eye. Because if you're a good bloke, you get carried off, and if you're a shit bloke, you have to just walk like a prick. Walk home, Fuck. you cunt. Don't, oh, jeez, you you are such a fucking. Oh movie yeah, bitch. I'm the only person that doesn't <laughs> like him. Oh. No, no. Well, I mean, you disrespect what he's done on the field. That's all. I disrespect I mean... a lot of the things he does on the field, like kick people. Oh, <laughs> how are you with Dino Swano? He's a good bloke. No, he's not. He hasn't hospitalised anybody in like a decade, so it's fine. Oh, no, no, no. no. I, no. I'm not a fan of Dane Swan in the slightest. I like Dane Swan. He's actually like the sickest cunt out there. I, I like him. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Obviously never had a conversation with him. But no, despite everything, I feel bad for the fact that he feels he can't go to the grand final because... I genuinely do as well because he deserves a lot of yeah. praise for the career that he's had and uh, yeah. the fact that he doesn't feel comfortable doing it is a bit sad. For all the bullshit that's happened and, you know, the media fucked about with it as they did and I loved it when Nathan Buckley put the blame mm. on them this week yeah. for continuing to write the story and Robbo, you've just seen Robbo spluttering when that accusation came out, like the drunk that he it is. Does, cause they, but... He didn't just make it too, drink too strong? Yeah, no, it was, you know, if he had a beer, he would have spat it out when he heard that. But no, the media have pumped it up and they've made it worse. But the fact is that he still deserves to go around yeah, I mean, he's had on a, Grand he's Final had Day without getting career. booed. He was a yeah. fantastic for footballer. For fuck's sake, Stephen Milne got a lap and didn't get booed. I don't, like, I don't yeah, think he should go, go around on Grand Final Day. I reckon he should go around on the first day of the Swan. Home. Yeah, no, he'll do that. He should go around with everyone else. He'll do that, but everybody gets to go around on grand final day without any bullshit. No, if yeah. if rapists go around, they should let Adam, Go- Adam Goods go around. He, yes, he exactly. Was a, no, he was a fantastic footballer. He had a great career. What's but happened the... recently is unfortunate. It is not a good look for anyone involved, really. But he deserves to be applauded for the career he had. Luke Hodge is a bigger cunt than Boss, but when he goes around on Grand Final, <laughs> no one is a bigger. Cunt. He will. No one's going to boo him either. Oh. Okay. I hope just not the way he'll, he'll be cunt. remembered. Cause he'll be remembered as a good bloke. Yeah, like no one's going to boo him either. So on Grand Final Day, mm-hmm. people need to let that go, and it's actually quite sad that that's where it is with him. Oh, because... oh yeah, that's that's part that's, par- that's okay. partially in his head and partially the blame of the media, though. I don't think anyone would mm-hmm. go out there and fucking. Deliberately blew in when he's doing a lap because it's fucking ninety percent corporates anyway. I don't think they would, but you just never know. And he's probably scared of that because it really shouldn't have come back in the Freo game. It did, and that's uglier now after it went away and came back. I yeah, think it's just be. another example of fucking Fremantle ruining the AFL for the rest of us. <laughs> <laughs> Let's move on. We'll go to Hawthorne versus the Crows on the Friday night. The Crogo stick. Well, it finally stopped bouncing. Oh. Disappointing. I yeah. genuinely Hawks. wanted Adelaide to win that. It wasn't a bad game at all, but what? it was a flogging. What? I left that game five yeah. minutes into the third quarter. Oh, no, 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 no. Like I thought. After halftime. I thought Are you talking was... about the final in 2010? <laughs> no, no. Well, shut up. Shut up, bitch. No, no. I, I, I thought that Hawthorne were excellent. And they, so they did were, I. Thanks, Steve. They, they were great to watch. Adelaide, Adelaide were never going to win that game as good as Hawthorne were. And that was it. And the, the final margin in the end probably flattered Adelaide to be honest because there were a few dodgy goal reviews so that uh deliberate call and a couple of decisions <laughs> like that and we hit the post three times there so were we could have deliberate calls each way it's just that clanger makers wasn't good enough to make his one count <laughs> i wouldn't even no, know it's just, final yeah we we, we could have easily won that by sort of 119 points and then you know the pay would have been pretty uh i don't know man. you know Geelong. you're not gonna do that yeah yeah, yeah i yeah, mean you know I, I wish we could not go back to back like Geelong. I like back to backs. Back to backs over Hawthorne. Three four eight five. I'll tell you what though, Paddy Dangerfield was that goal of the year in yeah. the first quarter. That was fucking fantastic. He kicked a good goal. He gives you one of those every week, along with fucking twenty nine ineffective disposals. So oh, enjoy him, Geelong. Look at your tune you change serious? now that we know exactly where he's yeah, going. Thanks, Paynum. We will enjoy him. Thank you. You will. Very much. You ain't got anyone else to enjoy. <laughs> Drops Shut up, bitch. Shot. All of a sudden, because it's clear that he's going to go to Geelong, he's a ball butcher that right penal well no i mean he, he only looks good at adelaide
side because he's got a good ruckman in Jacobs, like tapping it down to him, and so he can get the clearances. Oh yeah, and we have. Im- 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 imagine yeah. how he's going to go when he's got fucking Reece Stanley. <laughs> I don't even to remember your to. ruckman's name. Dawson Simpson. Bl- oh, Bl- Bl- no, he's not their, He's not their Big ruckman. Boy. Dawson Simpson's their like bench warmer. I don't know. He doesn't really ruck. There's Vardy. Reece Stanley is their ruckman. Vardy. Hamish McIntosh. He's retired. I know. He's still their number one ruckman. If they do pick up Hanson, they can change around. Like so is like, like a runner. He's like a. We're gonna rip the comp. Clark. He's a fucking shredder. <laughs> oh, you are it's not. Here. You wouldn't even um, rip the comp. Let's go back. I suppose Hawkins could let's make Let's go back to Hawthorne versus Adelaide. I think Hawthorne skied a little bit against the Crows side that just weren't up to it. Tex went missing. Eddie went missing. Eddie was getting had the one handball. Hawthorne fan. One handball for the first half. Mm. And you know Hawthorne skied. You know they let Isaac Smith find space and. You know, that Frio probably won't let him find. It was a pretty ski-worthy game. They just cruised over and they kicked so many easy mm. goals. For a new, yeah. for a neutral at the game, it was fucking boring. It was terrible. When you said you were leaving, we left with at the same time, so we walked around trying to find you. This was something <laughs> funny to do. But um, I bought an Eddie Betts badge. I can't find it now. Don't want it. Shit house. Oh, that's no way to treat an exile. Oh, I tried. Like, Adelaide were always going to have an emotional come down eventually. There's only so long they could ride it. Oh, no. It would have been nice if they rode it for one more oh, week, it, it, would have been and, and you know it was a good story and to be honest well, fantastic effort to even get where they have with yeah. what they've been through but I well, think yeah, in, it was always in that a... case surely those Starburns you'd be wanting them to ride it for two more weeks given that they would be playing Fremantle yes okay two more weeks fuck it why not let them go for the flag but that said they rode it for as long as they could and if we have nothing else on that game the last step they took to get there might have been a little bit suspect mmm mmm dodgy doggy like when this story first came out I was like who the fuck would leak from one club to another in the week of finals? Like, who does that? Are there any departing coaches? And then it made sense when you realise that there's a Talia at the Dogs who's not playing and his brother plays at the Crows. While that's obviously the easy target, it obviously does make it possibly not as bad, i.e. not as malicious, because they could just be easily having the, having an exchange well, where we don't Michael know inadvertently let slip that he's not playing, and that was the extent of it. It sounds as though there was more to go on than that. Like, you know what I mean? Like, the Dogs would have had to have had something pretty Pretty damn solid. Like a fucking fat cock. No, no, no not what? <laughs> what the fuck, Teach? He just heard solid and thought, yeah, I'm gonna go with cock. <laughs> Possibly, but it yeah. could have been the both Talia's talking and one of, and which Talia, whichever Talia is at the doggies Michael. pretending to be an Adelaide player or being the fucking practice team or some fucking are they twins shit. those two no uh, the no. one at the dogs maybe. is younger I believe because they maybe they didn't and... tell each other and it was just telepathy oh, you talk this. some shit Morks I talk shit teachers don't talk about cock You're and talking not about them talking with telepathy for fuck's sake hey, tw- <laughs> twins have that, that kind that of shit that is a real thing they twins, may have twins had... do that that's how the Scott brothers communicate and that's how they swap coaches. That's how Brad coaches Chris's games and Chris coaches Brad's games. I went to school with a bunch of twins. They did that. Like, it was never obvious, but, you know, you could see it with those <laughs> little eyes. They were they glowing. Have, um, <laughs> yeah, well, I think they've got a mystic dildo. They touch each other's cock and they can all... <laughs> uh, well, you'd know about the mystic dildo, all the fucking noises we get. <laughs> and you did pick North for the prelim. But no, I really don't think if it was as mild as well, what, some what of what's been leak? suggested. Sp- Specifically. I, don't, I don't know, but obviously enough to really piss the dogs off. But what if it was Bonton Pally or Stringer? Let's chuck a hypothetical. The inappropriate Neither transmission of, of games. Well, who are they going to be talking to at the Crows? This is the thing. Well, just hypothetically. Let's fuck logic and just think hypothetically. What suspension or ban would they get if it was from the doggies and they found out Bonton Pally did? Well, I think it would be worse because it's not even a brother. Like, that's actually a worse offence. But don't, then that probably just give him a slap on the wrist. <laughs> you want to bet? Like, if it's as serious as giving away genuine information, information how can we trust you again yeah it's exactly like you do this before the biggest game are you what for what reason like first it would be what the fuck are you doing this for and if they found out it's because they want to play for the crows of course they'd fuck them off but probably to port adelaide instead or something but how this actually came out was that after the semi-final loss uh kyle cheney was chatting with the hawks players and revealed this and then hawks players revealed this to beverage who was obviously at, at us last year is that how it happened yeah what a bunch of snitches you are yeah, you snitch on, <laughs> snitch on Motlop. No, I, I think oh, the, the, nah. the worst That's thing is Kyle... Shit. Snitch on no, Motlop, Kyle, snitch on Kyle fucking Kyle Cheney ratted out his own club. We're just obviously helping out a mate, a former mate in beverage in need. Snitching be Power the Rangers. At, <laughs> point the <laughs> fingers at Kyle Cheney. Power snitches Rangers. get snitches. <laughs> yeah. Hodge what? is not a good bloke. He snitches on people. <laughs> um, Hodge is the best bloke. <laughs> He's in a one-man bloke competition. <laughs> obviously, this was genuinely decent information 
about something or other. I still you think it's actually... You can't get players yeah. investigated if it wasn't something. Yeah, no. Like, if, if it was something like, I'm not going to play on the weekend. Like, no. He was, he was not really in the lock- team anyway, was he? He was probably Training, locking up to do some player. gambling or something. Bet more Bulldog. I don't know. This probably has a fair bit more mileage to it. And we'll probably know more by next week and we can talk about more. But it was certainly... We have actual Black Ops in the AFL now. Yeah, it's that's like a serious <laughs> cultural problem. Say that again. Okay. Does anyone think that Michael Talley will be at the dogs next year. No. 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 This, this, this is not now. Just a and tiniest this, this bit of truth. This will ruin his chances of finding another club too. Now the Colas will want it's, him yeah, because they're Sydney. desperate for defensive. The Bryans as well. Someone desperate for a key position will take him but at a, any club, any club that's seriously considering contending in the near future, they're not going to touch this because what kind they of can't have contract as well. Yeah, just the longer eligible then. Well, shut up. I know you can't. What kind of culture do they have if this is the way that Carl, nah. I'm not, not everything's rosy down at the down at Witten Oval, guys. <laughs> You're obsessed. Oh, I'm sorry. We're having a discussion about this team. I'm having an opinion. I didn't bring it but up. But it's not a good look, and yeah, he probably won't be there, and someone will touch him. But for a fringe player, that's a very dumb thing to do. Yeah, to I mean, Carl. Formula Choice. 1 did the same. I mean, <laughs> Fernando Alonso ratted out his team, McLaren, and they got whacked with 100 million buck fines. So... Isn't Alonso Spanish or something? Yeah, but this is like the 2000s. Do they rat people out? Yeah. <laughs> but still, if it's true and it was found out to be really dodgy, do you expect a suspension for for Talia, assuming it's him. From the AFL. Depends on the seriousness of the breach. He's out of contract. They just won't renew him. I say, see ya. I do find it funny that they're getting the AFL to investigate fucking a matter of integrity because the AFL have been sod pillars of that in the past. Mm. Yeah, well, well, the AFL integrity it's unit does exist. Enough. They may as well use it for what it's for. So typical of the dogs going and asking for someone else to help them out. And I think, yeah, they gave Acker the so- ass for the same thing. They did give Acker the ass for opening his mouth too much and all he did was, you know say things that probably shouldn't have been said, but nothing game plan-esque. It was all because Brad Johnson didn't like him. Well, what's worse, being homophobic or being a fucking snitch? I'd it's, say Agus' haircut was worse. Well, you could be it's both. Probably both, really. Say, yeah. Are you alluding to the cunt again? Yeah, I, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> a certain homophobic snitch. Mm. <laughs> nothing else on Talia Gate? No, it's getting a bit boring. I might uh, invite Miss Peachy Mistress onto the uh, the call, who is a... Uh, contact request. What? You're not actually though, are you? <laughs> no, I'm just taking a piss. Jesus Christ, I was like, oh no. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Hello, sir. So nice to meet you. I like you so much. Be sure to uh, write so a handsome. review on uh, Punter Planet. Oh. <laughs> Mr. Aaron to read. Let's move on and we'll stay on the Crows and this is for Hadouken as well. Warsfold's apparently nah, he won't. out of the Crows race. Yeah, and he, the... he won't be at Essendon either. He won't be at Essendon no. either? No. Really? Yeah. Yep. Who are you going to get, McCartney? McCartney is a real out-of-the-left-field chance. Cuddles for everyone. Still say Stuart Jew's in with a real shot. That's, that's interesting. Everyone's saying it's a done deal now that Walsfold's no. out of Adelaide. He's looking at Essendon. So where's Walsfold going to end up? Well, maybe nowhere then. Maybe he's just out. Yeah, Aren't, I just, aren't he and McKenna like a Batman-Robin yeah. sort of duo? Well, that's a possibility. Oh, no. we'll McKenna yeah. and Walsfold oh. thing going. No, 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 the, no, the McKenna no, bullshit no, 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 today was so bad. Oh, we haven't really discussed it, but we've uh, talked about how good it would be to coach at Essendon. Are you serious? Essendon's I... getting rid of a lot of its older players and getting in younger players, which makes McCartney a much better option. Because look McCartney what he needs to it. turn around and tell McKenna Robin to shut up. <laughs> Well, it's either Adelaide or Essendon. Well, they're the only jobs available. You never know. There could be a Richmond job coming up. <laughs> or North. Brad Scott. I can only hope. But I don't think either of those coaches are getting the sack. Well, just yeah, yet. Brad Scott's probably bought himself another contract by the look of things. I would have <laughs> uh, six. He's got he's got another year to go. I reckon. No, 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 no. I, I heard they were going to extend him again course. this year to, to put to bed some of the speculation. You know, and uh, give him another two years and take him out to eighteen or nineteen. We, we all know Hardwick's in trouble, but Brad Scott should be pool. fine. So nothing else on Moore's fault. Well, I haven't heard anything. Not that I my sources are viable, but every now and then. Yeah, we're reading. So well, what about Mark Neal? He just, just, just doesn't want to live in Adelaide. <laughs> all the reports are around Neal. He's doing great work as a development coach. He's not a head coach's arsehole. But... But with your young list, he'd be a good head coach to make sure they develop, and then in uh, five years, when he's well, taking you even further backwards, then you can get someone else. You actually in. teach them something like strategy. All right, let's move.
move on from Warsfold. Let's go to the All Australian team. And yes, we've already discussed Rioli, worst selection ever. A fucking joke. I mean, the overrated piece of crap <clears throat> Rioli somehow Hero. walks into All Australian team. I, I will say, good on Bob Murphy. Yeah, good on Bob Murphy, captain of the All Australian team. There's a guy who gets cheered off the ground. Even I'd <laughs> cheer him off the ground. But, you know, Goldstein made it then. Um, oh, they got, a, oh, yeah, Goldie, Goldie. Goldie. They got quite just, a few of the selections right. It was just Rioli ahead of Higgins Sweet. and Revolt ahead of Walker that were probably the suspect ones. I'm going to say this. In spot. round one. He did not. In round one. He, worst All Australian ever. Penal, shut up. In round one, I called Todd Goldstein to be All Australian Ruckman. I'm a Flogstradamus. You, you are Fugstradamus. Starburns called for Shane Munford. And that, <laughs> yeah, he, he, he is moral, moral Australian. Well, Starburns, you are just a flog. Moral all Australian. I think Goo Your Pops was pretty good selecting Jake Stringer back in April. Well, and yeah, apparently uh, Morgs is doing this podcast from beyond the grave because she said she would be dead when Stringer makes all Australian. No, 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 no. He <laughs> knows. Oh, That's not true. No. Do we need to stick a badge on her? No, no. That's going to join hard. the TV Blues Club? No, that idiot quoted me from another thread. I said to him, get back to me when you actually achieve success as a club. I, Because I actually refer to them as a football club and celebrate team success. I don't hang my hat on whether a player makes an All-Australian. Because that sounds all- rattled. I'm sorry. But yeah, I'm this is good. coming from the person who fucking had the wettest fucking panties ever when Dugowie got the Rising Star on <laughs> Jack, stop laughing. That was like a oh, I He I cackled like it. a hyena then. Seriously, don't quote me the thread that I didn't post in and make it look like I said that. You're a fucking And fight speaking fight. of... Now you just got yourself a nomination. You're and fine. speaking of that, Bernie missed out. Oh, he's he was right. robbed. He was robbed. Shame, shame. He missed out. Yet another player robbed by Cyril Rioli. Cyril is a criminal. Yeah. Cyril Jesse deserves had a to better be there ahead of Wingard. I mean, if you want to take anyone oh, out... Oh, then, no. Take oh. Wingard out. Yeah, see... This is this is where we can tell you're f- talking bullshit. Now you're getting Because Wingard would have been one of the first four or five players picked in that team. Wingard is the most overrated, overrated player in the AFL. Most overrated. No, he's not, because Rioli's the most overrated player in the history of the game. You are Fucking, he's a dual All-Australian player podcast. who averages 12 disposals a game over his career and less than a goal and a half. It, it's so not it's, about stats. I mean, you, It you, is about stats. You can't, you can't look at Tom Rockcliffe and say, well, he gets 45 touches a game. Yes, we can, because we can go oh, look at all those inside fifties. Oh wait, there are none. <laughs> so hang on, hang on, hang on. You can't on. use stats. You can't yes. disregard no, you stats to suit your argument, and then look at stats to suit one another argument. Yeah, okay, but then the thing is, we look at Rioli and we go, "Where is he?" Well, on, I look at on, Rioli and I see him doing stuff that no other player can do. He is the yeah. cleverest player the ball to ever to play someone. the game. No, seriously, it's because he fumbles the ball so much classier than everyone else. His fumbles look deliberate, so people mm-hmm. think they must be. Mm-hmm. Nah, I'm on. Penal side. We know. Absolutely. We know. Yeah. I, I, I want to know. know. At least you're I'm on any side. Don't you ever say Morgs is white knighting someone ever again. Okay, or... fuck off. I want to know who who was the captain of the All Australian side. Bob Murphy. Hadouken already covered it. Oh, Bob Murphy. What happened to hmm. Luke Hodge? <laughs> he was, missed it by point. He wasn't even nominated. <laughs> Unfortunately, no, he, he was nominated for the forty, wasn't he? But he obviously didn't Sorry, get into the. He wasn't. Oh, it was Burgoyne, Gibson, you don't get all Australian guernseys for being a good bloke. He, he, he missed too many games. Games, unfortunately, and, and yeah, why, why yeah. did he miss those games? Well, because he was flying the flag games? for our great side, <laughs> like punching flag. Andrew Swallow in the face, <laughs> and for trying to decapitate Chad Wingard, you know, the true all Australian. I can't argue with Bob Murphy, but and drink uh, he was, he was um, also pretty good. Um, I, would have, I would have had Luke Hodge. It was also good that Deledio got in the team because he played really well this season, to be honest. I mean, he had a really good year, yeah. Like, yeah, I didn't did. think he was going to make it just because you know he had a really good year, but considering some of the other players who had good years was like, oh, he could miss out. I thought he'd get pipped by Higgins, but instead Higgins got beaten by both Deledio and Rioli. No, he was a and actual so he match should have. Oh, fuck. Oh, uh, they, uh, uh, I'm backing your player here, Starbins. You should, you should back my player. <laughs> no. Players Actually, here you go, Pino. I'll defend one of your players. So Cyril had, what, 15 touches average per game? But they're amazing. He's a much maligned Hawthorne player. Matthew Suckling <laughs> averages 20 a game. It's it's not about the disposal count. <laughs> uh-huh. but, he probably hit 
hits I targets more consistent. often oh. and he's harder at it than Cyril. Oh, inside <laughs> kick, kick better than Cyril. The only player in the AFL who Matthew Suckling is harder at it than is fucking Jack Watts. He had 81 inside 50. <laughs> and that's why Brisbane would have loved him so much kicking it inside 50, but not going to take him. So congratulations, Penal. He's staying yours. Yeah, yeah. Well done. Matthew yeah, Suckling clearly to, staying on the Managed to retain player. Matthew Suckling. Congratulations. There you go. Uh, here's a question that a friend of mine like asked during the week. Which current footballer are you, you know, when, when you played football as a kid, is your game style most like? And for me, the answer, as fucking depressing as it is, given how I've ragged on him all year, is suckling. So what about the rest of you lot? So you, you were a good kick, but you were soft as butter. Oh, uh, yes. <laughs> I'm an unaccountable, uh, soft halfback flanker who could kick it really well. That's a good question. I think that we should all answer that. So what, what about you, Starburns? I was a Surioli type. I was good for three disposals and a goal a game. <laughs> All right. Sorry, did I just steal your one cookie? Yes. Sorry. So I was Tom Boyd. I brought structure but never touched the ball and I didn't get paid. Dan? Stringer. <laughs> oh, so, so oh, you, were, you were the complete aren't you package. A fucking, aren't you a fucking stupid? Think... Teach, you've already described yourself as being quite tall, haven't you? Yes, I am. But you couldn't kick or do anything else? So Sam oh, was? No, I could, I, I could kick, but um, I was a bit like Hawkins, but without the, um, the size. No, I was going to say, if, if you were tall and you couldn't kick, it could have been Stanley. <laughs> Yeah, but Stanley can run. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't run. So right. um, I, I would have so been... Dawson Simpson. <laughs> I would have been... No, I, I would have been like, uh, if you remember him, David Minch. Okay, yeah. I, I remember him, but I couldn't tell you where he played on the ground. Was he an old-fashioned utility? He was an old-fashioned forward. Okay. Yeah, but he couldn't run. All he could do was take a mark and kick, and that's uh, that's what I could do. But I was pretty much a spaz. What about you, Dan? No, he said stringer. <laughs> Stringer. All right. Tomahawk have the same bra size. Oh, no, he's got pretty big teeth. So, yeah, Lock so that makes it you a double G, Morgs. I probably like old school KL hooker when he was really young. Go <laughs> back, buddy chasing days. Yeah, buddy chasing. <laughs> so that's oh. like Tate Pears is now. Fuck, Tate Pears still on the list. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Might, probably not for much longer though. He eh? played in the he played in the VFL uh, premiership. Uh, no, the, uh, I, I, no, they blocks. they wheeled him out for the Collingwood game, and I was like, holy shit, it's Tate Pears. He's still on the list. <laughs> Sorry, Jack, you're the last one. So yeah. Rowan Bale. That's <laughs> <laughs> very self-deprecating. Well, You're talking yourself up there, buddy. That's the reverse of Dan calling himself Stringer. <laughs> Let's move on from the All-Australian team, and we'll go to the player movement, and the big focus this week is on Paddy Dangerfield. He's not allowed to talk about it, but it's all everyone says he's going to Geelong like they, they had big news yesterday when garbage bags were put in the car, but that was clear just so Hutchie didn't rummage through them. You know, it's Danger Watch. It's almost like that Simpsons episode where they hovered around um, the Simpson house when home was a of being a sex offender you know every every minute there's a new danger field story well we're gonna have to give trade him a, for him uh, yeah we're gonna have to give him a big offer and if adelaide match it we're gonna have to put a trade on the table. Mm. so you're gonna either break your salary cap or have to break your draft aren't you yeah that said you trading your draft picks wouldn't be the worst thing in the world considering you probably just draft another nucky or cocker two with them or billy smith oh, but, fuck but off, yeah you idiots. using maybe the, using... if you hadn't traded for ray stanley well, using that, that looks like the forty-year-old virgin, but he's twenty or something. No, but yeah, well, reckon... using um using Geelong's own logic that Reece Stanley is worth pick twenty-one. What is Patrick Dangerfield worth in terms well, of trading? You for can only picks? trade two years worth of first rounders. You can't trade four. <laughs> so I think Geelong are in trouble. They've got to throw uh, what's his name in Mitch Duncan in maybe Mitch Duncan yeah. and two first no rounders. Way. No Harry Taylor. way. No way. Mitch Duncan is going. I know his currency's dropped, but you could probably throw Selwood in a steak knives. So, oh, fuck so this. maybe. I've got, to, I'm, I've got to go for a shit. Fuck this. <laughs> if I was Adelaide and I lost Dangerfield and got Selwood, I would be pissed off. <laughs> You're like, you've totally ripped us off here. We take Dangerfield, we give him a massive contract, and we give them our second round. Pick <laughs> oh. What? Okay, Dodora. Yeah. You are aware well, you can get him as a free agent. Teach. <laughs> That's fucking. They're not getting anything else. Fuck you. People said Richmond would pay more than the second round of Yaron. Yeah, Yaron's <laughs> worth more than Dangerfield apparently. Only in Geelong. <laughs> fucking second round of Dangerfield. Come on. I, I'm fucking laughing my ass off. No, but he know. gets 29 ineffective disposals. Penal, you sook. <laughs> no, I mean. <laughs> Hey, Where does that well, come I on mean, the suckling scale? Okay, Dangerfield, like, I know if he's going to be a Geelong player, I have to hate him, but he's legitimately one of the top 10 players in the 
competition. Like because only a few people have that explosiveness on the outside to go with the, the inside mid thing. So Dangerfield's got it, Fife's got it, Selwood doesn't, Josh Kennedy doesn't. That's why you know Dangerfield and Fife are uh, Ablett. Uh, cut above, yeah, so Ablett. to speak. We we forget about yeah. Ablett, I mean, don't we? A- Ablett's yeah. better than all of them anyway. So that's kind of a moot point we're talking about. Sort of the race for second. He was at one Ablett. point. He never will be again. He's done. He's Seriously, cooked. Ablett's done. Yep. He's never going to recover from that shoulder. Maybe if he starts taking some pain medication, he might. Yeah, but he won't no. because God told him. <laughs> Jesus doesn't like pain at all. Yeah, Joel mm. Selwood is just a poor man's Liam Shields, so that would be a, a fucking oh, fuck rip-off off. Badly. No, Oh, that was a quick shit. Who you say, who, who's the Jesus. bigger dirty diver, Puopolo or Selwood? Lindsay oh. Thomas. <laughs> yep, Adam Goods. Well, someone won a game and someone fucked up a game, and one was Puopolo, who fucked it up, and the other one who won it was Selwood. No, nah, Tom Hawkins won that game and Clangham Makers lost it. Oh, one of them bleeds heaps. Maybe that's the player you most like, Morgs. Oh, Jack yes. Watts. I'm most like Joel Selwood because we both lose a lot of Bleed blood. Bleed every couple of months. So. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> monthly. He bleeds, <laughs> he bleeds weekly, but I catch up. What, what, what about Jack Watts? <laughs> oh. he, he bleeds monthly oh. too. Let's move on. Have we got everything on Dangerfield? I think we do. Yeah. What about McCarthy? Because apparently GWS said he's not being traded. His manager He's not being traded. His manager says one thing is his manager an idiot or are the Giants what? fucking idiots? Like, who's... I well, I mean, he, he, is, he is contracted, so if I were GWS, I would play hardball and if... Well, free based, on, during, <coughs> based on last year... Then they better cough up a lot of... Uh, Boyd's non-negotiable. Of... This isn't, and this Boyd. isn't Tom Boyd either because he's contracted for two more years, not one. So they can do this again at next trade period and if his value goes up they can get more out of him or they can try and convince him to stay. It's not Tom Boyd where if they don't trade him now, they could lose him for nothing. Why do you want to keep somebody that doesn't want to be there? Because like... you've got to set a standard because if you're at a club that's not a destination club in a How market that players don't want to go to, you have to you have to be a bit firm. Otherwise, no one's going to come uh, play for you. And that's no, why just... when, Br- yes, when they will. Brisbane have gotten bent over a couple of years in a row now, first with letting like Yo and that go for mm. unders and then they got bent over with the Beams thing, losing Crisp oh. and all that. Yeah, they really uh, bent- but no, 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 fair play to Collingwood and dumb by Brisbane mm. for overpaying. But yeah, if you set that sort of standard, you get what and now they got now they got Aish this year with Aish Lewenberger and Redden walking out. Aish's value should be pathetic as well, just quietly, because he's at a club that struggled to put players on the park and he did not set the world on fire. And you can only put so much of that down to being homesick. Most of the time, he doesn't even get in a game. Yeah. Has anyone given up more than half a Mars bar for him? No, like... he's not worth anything near the pick seven that he was drafted nah. at. His value's plummeted, so that's probably why. He might if stay. we're going to play hardball, we'll swap he, him for Nathan Freeman. Well, yeah, he that's is, a like. Actually, Freeman's not he is worth, he is worth Matthew <laughs> Suckling plus Brisbane's first rounder. <laughs> And steak knives. And that's the thing. You shouldn't draft players who don't want to be there, for starters. But if they spoke to McCarthy and he wanted to be there, and he clearly did for a couple of years before now, all of a sudden Fremantle have said, come play for us. We're, we're losing Pav. And Schultz has told us to go and get fucked. We need you. It's like Gunston at Hawthorne. I'm fully supportive of what GWS are doing. If they want to play hardball and try and extract maximum value, mm. like they've got to do the best thing by their club. They can play hardball on McCarthy. It's not the same as Boyd or Trelaw. It's also I... interesting, like, the statement, because it sounds like it's blah, blah, blah. A required player, all this horseshit. We can categorically say he's not for sale. I mean, to be honest, a lot of clubs say that. Everyone's for sale, every, just about. In oh, every yeah. sport, they say you can trade, not for sale. Anyone, anyone can be traded. You look at McAvoy, nobody said, oh, St. Gilda's going to trade him. Yeah, day one, we say bank. Every trade. club's got about three untouchables at the Giants. Jeremy Cameron would be one. Callum Ward's probably another. I'll probably say Mumford. No, Mumford's probably on, depending. Uh, no, Dylan no, Shield might be another. Be Australian award this year. Mumford, is, Mumford's really to get on the bus anytime. Yeah, anytime possible. someone throws money in front True. of him, he loves the he loves the yeah. colour of money. More like Shane Moneyford then, am yeah. I right? Yeah, it is. The first one squeezed by the cola cap. We've discussed Yaron somewhat. Do we want to come back to Yaron? Well, are you, what, what are you thinking? I do not. I don't want him. Full, I don't want him full stop. But if we have to take him, pick thirty one has to be the maximum. Otherwise, fuck it. Do not take him. I would rather take Benel. I think the next time we talk about Yaron, we'll either be laughing at Richmond for caving and giving up Ben Lennon or something ridiculous, which they should not do, or we'll be laughing at Carlton for just either keeping him on the list or letting him walk for peanuts. Well, he can't walk because he's contracted, so they have to keep him if no one else wants him. But lols will be or, 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 like, if they really want him gone and no one wants to do a deal, they'll well, trade him out yeah, for, like, Richmond 
Daniele seventy Club or something on the last day. Well. well, apparently we're into him as well. Yeah, as long as someone else is into him, I'm happy because they can mm. trump our offer and we don't budge. I'm happy with that because we can chase Bernal. The Trelaw thing apparently isn't quite done yet because of Collingwood have been a how bit long, sus there. So that'll we'll see how, how that. How are Melbourne going to chase Chris Yaron when they're already giving up pick five and uh, Billings <laughs> for Melksham? <laughs> Sorry, not not Billings, Brayshaw. Pick five and Brayshaw uh, for uh, Melksham. Because they want to bring <laughs> the Melksham. Melksham bring brings all the boys to the yard. Yeah. What are they going to have left over to go after Yaron with? Oh, they'll have to give Hogan or something. <laughs> oh, how? How was named, wasn't he? His first rounder and how, wasn't yeah. it? They actually wanted that. Jesus yeah. Christ. <laughs> first rounder and how? Yeah. Gee, Carlton. Oh, yes, that's actually. ridiculous. Any other oh, trades we want to discuss? Like, Schultz staying at Port's pretty funny. Like, Freo cannot get a key position player. They are so desperate, more desperate than any other club, and they cannot land one. Hey, Michael Tarly is available, Ross. He's got about as much integrity as you. Would, Apparently, fu- St Kilda's got Nathan Freeman. Good luck. I hope you got a spare set of hamstrings, fuckwits. <laughs> <laughs> on that note, let's move on to the oh, no. listings. Any listings catch the eye? Oh, what about retirement? Oh, Carnesis. Yeah, I'd just like to send my best regards to Paddy Kay and his mum. It was nice to have you at Collingwood. <laughs> we had a lot of retirements this year. <laughs> you had a lot of retirement. We don't, we've already talked about your retirement. Thank you, Captain Obvious. That's because your average list age was 45. <laughs> Still well, how, about you just, how about you just shut, shut the fuck up, cunt? One <laughs> of the most interesting to listings, though, was that um, the recruit, Johan Wagner, got delisted after one year at Port. Yeah, yeah. And they're going to make the show again. What did I tell you about this show? This show will only have any credibility if the winner goes on to have a career. Hey, we all talked about what type of players we are. That is our audition. We should all go for it. Oh, I'm a shoe in the wind. Yeah, you're Jake Stringer. (laughs) The package. Dan, the package. (laughs) Dan, the package. Left to quit smoking, We still got the Irish guy on our list. Yeah, he didn't win, though. No, I know, but he's still on our list. because you don't have any ruckman. (laughs) Yeah, we do. They're just all made of fucking chalk. Yeah, we do. They're all just Reece Stanley. Yeah, but this is our opportunity. <laughs> you know, who wants the Matt Suckling type can take penal. Teach, you should apply. You're right in the right age for North. And, you know, Rioli's all Australian-esque, so come on, give us a call. Um, Who's the who's, craziest recruiter out there? Who's Dodoro? No, no, Dodoro's tart at the trade table. Who's... Cra- Geelong, clearly. Yeah, yeah, yeah Ge- Ge- Geelong. Stanley. They drafted no- Nokia Cockatoo who's, and Who's Lee the Smith. coach for the upcoming show? Vossi! Nah, Vossi's at Port ruining their midfield. We're going to have Bruce. It's not my responsibility. Did you shoot? <laughs> they might be wheeling Robert Walls out. <laughs> Walls through every player in the ruck, and then when someone gets sent home, they get all beaten up in a circle. What about Mick <laughs> Malthouse, who get all salty and angry when Fox producers start telling them you can't cook a barbecue? <laughs> <laughs> Malthouse would be fantastic on that show, actually. My problem is that I would just uh, take someone's head off in the first... Probably. It's okay, that would be great viewing. No. Mm. Teach, you're still yeah. a better bloke than Hodgie. It's okay. Everyone's yeah. a better bloke than oh, Hodgie. Well, fair enough. Adam Good's a better bloke than Hodgie. Oh. <laughs> Anyone else who got delisted that yes. we feel bad about or surprised about? Ace Cordy. Oh, Ace Cordy, yeah. It shows you how badly Minson was in the dock. Didn't house. he play games this year? He did. He played like... He played like 11 yeah, games. He, played like he was like a first-round pick for the Bulldogs. Yes, he was. We made yeah. them use their father-son because we bluffed them. That was <laughs> Always good when that happens. I was a bit surprised by Plugger's boy Spencer White getting the ass. He just didn't develop. I mean... Never... Well, you could have traded to Geelong for 20. Everyone was describing him as the second coming of Carey or something. A buddy, actually. <laughs> he, look, he had the athleticism, skills and all that, but his tank just didn't develop and yeah you can't do shit without an AFL tank but you don't know Jack's AFL equivalent Rowan Bale got given the ups oh thank fuck <laughs> Did you get rid of Geordie McKenzie as well? Yeah, he was know? gone. Yeah. He'll probably go to Geelong next year. Melbourne went to their list and went, oh, geez, there's still plenty to cut. Fitzpatrick. They need Homer Simpson to be their list manager. Cut. cut. Your cut. cut. Your cut. Your cut. Your cut. They just cut, like, four guys who were going to be in Moffat's You tried your 50. best. And Mark Jamar. Jamar got delisted. Um, yeah, he retired. Oh, I right. think he was pushed out the door, though. We got rid of two today. Aylett and Dalgleish. They're, okay. they're both big players. I was wondering really... if one of them was Steinberg. How is? No, how he's is... got to be... He's got to be close. <laughs> Does that mean that Nick O'Brien and Tate Perry are still on the list? Oh, Jesus. The fuck was that? What was that? Who's, who's getting on the fucking Perry? You. Oh, I'm getting on your boat. <laughs> what the hell was that? Toot, toot. <laughs> oh.
Oh, God, my ears are fucked. I guess that does mean that Tate Pears is still on Essendon's list. <laughs> we need to cut about five more, I reckon. Mm. Some clubs cut them early and late, depending. I think you're probably going to see if someone will actually trade for him. Well, well, no, ma- maybe maybe once the new Euro coach comes in, he'll yep. cut a few more. Let's move on. And a couple of things on fixturing. First, Wellington had told St Kilda to go and get fucked. Apparently, no, apparently it was the other way around. They said that you weren't giving them enough tourists. What's well, fucking New Zealand? What do they want to see? Fucking, here's the sheep. Here's where we filmed Lord of the Rings. There's New Zealand for you. So St Kilda got told to puss off. <laughs> <laughs> it's New Zealand. Who gives a shit? We'll go to Auckland or Christchurch. So instead, they're going to replace it with a gay pride game against the Swans. And the most disappointing thing about this is that Hawthorne aren't involved because we saw the reaction from that cunt when it was first mooted Hawthorne might. But if it was confirmed, that would be fantastic. He could have tossed the coin. <laughs> He would have had to wear sparkly gold underpants. We all know he does anyway. <laughs> if we did uh, play a gay pride game, then that's when I'd break out the Power Rangers Guernsey and, and rock up in that, you know? Because no. it's like, you want to out yourself for a good cause. <laughs> And, and by outing myself, I'm talking about outing myself to the people I know as you'll, you'll get some the nasty podcast PMs and not outing myself as a fucking 48 percenter because I'm not. Just to you'll get that. some Cross. nasty PMs Cross. from countries. <laughs> But also on future fixturing, and look, we're going to defer to Morgs and her obsession here, and apparently the Bulldogs have some requests. Oh, there was an interesting article on the AFL website yesterday in regards to the Dogs and their request to play in the season opener next year, which is cool. Like, I guess everyone can put out their wish list, but um, it gets a bit deeper than that. So Peter Gordon was quoted as saying that they play best and most attractive footy in the competition. <laughs> This year, so they oh, it was entertaining. At West times, Coast I say guess. hello. Yeah, Hawthorne West Coast say hello. Oh, fuck off. What? No, they don't. <laughs> <laughs> Come back when you can score over 130 points in a final. Oh wait, you can't even fucking make a final. Fucking buck. Come back in when charge. you're not playing Ryan Schoenmakers. <laughs> He's our best <laughs> forward. Ben. He actually is. <laughs> Mugs Ben. I have a point. This what time. is this? Is this? Is this? Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> play 13 yeah. UFC. Yeah. Have I got to be the referee in play 13 UFC? Teach, teach. I'll, look, I'll hey, say what more to say. So this is a quote. We've made a specific request for a round one game against Collingwood, and Collingwood have requested that too. We'd like the AFL to make us more of a priority in terms of how they are fixturing the games in order to provide for the enormous growth which the Western Bulldogs can provide for the competition. What have you been doing for 20 years, you incompetent Fucktards. You have not been growing the competition. You have been stagnant, doing nothing but putting your hand out and asking for help. Grow your own team. <laughs> I find it funny if, if Collingwood take over the Western Suburbs ahead of the Bulldogs. Just well, we have because we've fun. got our, we've got the club in Caroline Springs, and we're going to take away their own turf because they were too lazy to do anything about it. Yeah, Co- like, Collingwood just, definitely I... appeals to the demographic out there. <laughs> yeah, we do because we're the people's club. Oh. The but, drug dealers club. Mm. It was the stake, I swear. Anyway, so that's not all that they've requested. We are also right into Thursday night and Friday night games. We want more games at the G. We want more games that are signature games of the round. And we want more Friday night. Oh, in summary, you'll get games at the G when you can actually draw a crowd that's bigger than Eddie had. Uh, when you think about... And when you can make a grand final. Hang on. This Cold. is my favourite part. <laughs> and, and win one. When you think about what we've done, the fact we're going to make a profit this year and we've built the membership up to a record level despite discrimination upon discrimination. Just give us a fair go. Seriously, your victim mentality is sickening. It's Norfesk. Oh, what a bunch of flogs. Well done, guys. You made a profit. <coughs> Welcome to being a real business. Fucking putting me to sleep with that shit. Oh, I thought I'm it was sorry, entertaining. I just wish we had pups here to rebut. Yeah, he's too stoned to rebut. He'll be like, yeah, I'm on. <laughs> All about profits. Let's go on. We've got two more talking points. Teach, you've had enough time to prepare. It's time for your grades for this week. And we'll begin with the one bottom six club we skipped last week so we could say Geelong. Gold Coast Suns. Gold Coast Suns. F. No F minus. Just an F this week. Oh, fucking shit. They collapsed like a house of cards. I mean, everything went wrong for them. This is the year they were meant to make the finals. They were supposed to. Yeah, but uh, not all of it was their fault. They had a new regime that came to try to change things and it didn't work out. So so... how's that not their fault? We 
blame Carlton for that. And we've copped a lot of crap for hanging shit on Carlton, but we blame Carlton for that. And yet the Suns, it's not their fault. All right. Well, it is their fault. <laughs> Fuck them. Oh, God. Grow a backbone. Okay. The Giants. That's a tough one because they came on hard early. Um, but they kind of died away. I'm going to give them a D. Oh. They fell away badly at the end. I know, but D. That's worse oh, than Jordan. They did fall away sure. badly. Essendon got a fucking C tick. <laughs> shut up. They didn't um, completely collapse. So I'll give them a D. Collingwood. Collingwood. Be for brave. Yeah. I'll give them a D as well. Oh, you know what? They went backwards. <laughs> Way to fuck it up. Yeah, they, you were meant to they, say B they, for brave. No, D. <laughs> No, it's a, get a B for D brave, for... guys. B for brave. And no, D for dickheads. <laughs> D for don't you get the fucking joke? <laughs> yeah, I mean... It, it... Somebody's not getting the joke. <laughs> yeah. they, they, were, they were pretty brave. They've got a young list that are growing. So... Why are they ranked worse than Essendon? Oh, well, because they are. <laughs> <laughs> I could see why we are, because we've won more games and we finished higher. So, of course, we've got... Well, no, it, it, Collingwood don't have Tate Pears on their list, so obviously... There was... They won't be adding Jack Billings for Jake Melksham yeah. and Carlisle either and Jeremy Howe and a first-round pick. I'd like to see you trade Melksham to Melbourne. Come on. <laughs> we had oh, 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 I wouldn't. Players left. That's a Teach good. Port Puffers. The Port Puffers. Oh, yeah, I'm going to have to give them a D. The D? What? D for the Port Puffers. B or, B or D? D. D for D. F, F for no finals. Franchise. No, no. I mean, you're only getting an F if you fight down the arsehole. Oh, so you, you don't get an F when you predict that you're going to win the flag and you don't make the finals. Richmond. That's a toughie. I'm going to give Richmond a C. I think that's the best one anyone's got except Geelong. So. I mean, they were good, but they just chugged it up in the final. That's all. I think the C is for consistent because you consistently lose elimination finals. And the last one, I think this could be an interesting answer. So the dogs. Based on what happened last year, I'll give the dogs a C. Oh. What? <laughs> oh, I expected you to give them an A in Waltz. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. They Waltz. exceeded every expectation. Yeah. You are the harshest The only marker. correct rating for the dogs is like an A minus or something. I mean, they didn't win a final, so. <laughs> yeah, but no one expected them to even make them teach. Yeah. No only, one expected them to finish coach. above 17th. They only lost their coach and captain and like everything else. Brello medalist. See, even Morgs thinks you're being harsh. I would have given him a B. You're a... <laughs> I, don't, I don't give a fuck. I get a C. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Question time. There weren't too many great questions this week, but we will go with one from Porked, which was decent. What would you prefer to win? A grand final sprint or a top five finish in Carlton's B and F? And we'll just say Carlton's B and F, not top five finish. Carlton's B and F or the grand final sprint? Oh, grand final well, they're sprint. both essentially yeah. worthless, aren't they? So. Yeah, well, th- at least the grand final sprint might get you a contract at Geelong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Jordan, Jordan, well, Jordan Murdoch, he, he he ran his fucking ass off. I was talking, off, about, Stanley, talking about Stanley, but yeah. Stanley. You, you guys are professional grand final sprint winners, aren't you? <laughs> we only won it once. Uh, no, Dangerfield, too. Dangerfield <laughs> too. That's why they're recruiting him. They're not recruiting so him for his grand final sprint, ability. man. You get to go, unfortunately, have to live in Geelong. Blitzers or whatever. Yeah, they've got the steeplechaser, now they've got the sprinters. <laughs> this, this isn't the track and field. You've they got. just want to recruit everyone who can beat their guys. Well, Hawkins I mean, is would, a perfect shot putter. Would anyone rather the Carlton BNF? Um, no. Nah, I'd rather do something in September. I could think about it this way. At least you get to succeed on the MCG. I could turn up in a Carlton jumper and I'd, I'd, I'd be second. So you're not better than Patrick Cripps, obviously. Uh, oh, what I said, I said I'd, I'd be Bold. second. You'd be second. Bold. So, yeah, that's what I'm saying. You wouldn't beat him. Is that what you're saying? Yes. Oh, well, the package Dan probably would. Yeah. <laughs> and Matty Suckling probably would. <laughs> okay. And one other question, like, and this isn't really a question, but we'll throw it open. Um, we've had, a, you know, the Carlton flogs have been all over the thread this week. You don't know where you came from, but welcome. Yeah. The season's over. They're coming it's out been, of It's been a long time again. since we've had them. Yeah, it's off season. They always come out. This is, an open invi- this is an open invitation. If you're a Carlton flog and you are not Divi Blues, and you're interested and you are amusing enough to be a semi regular oh, post. One of those don't lurk like maggots over yeah. the Carlton board. That's a blue gunslinger out. Send one of us a PM and we'll see if we can get you on before you've fallen a hole next year. Oh, and if your name rhymes with, let's say, Rackfag. The name can't be that <laughs> and you can't be Dar Village Idiot either. Yeah. No, no. What if their name rhymes with Brayden? <laughs> see, this is why we don't have any off the <laughs> Or penis. It's good to see just a battler back, but he did go missing for about 18 weeks there. So Only seemed to reappear after Richmond lost. Funny that. Maybe he's like an inverse Richmond supporter. Like, you know, Richmond lose, he shows up, they all disappear. Maybe he's Trent Cochin in disguise. <laughs> 
Let's go to this week on the day, Thread of the Week. I think this is a race in two. I'm going to nominate the bottom 50 because I think that's going to be the less nominate one. But it was a cracking start. The Jake Carlisle write-up was fantastic. What about Where's Trent? We, we, nominated that we gave week. that last week. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, I, I really liked... Um, Hands uh, down winner, Diary of a Welching Yeah. Show. What yes. about uh, Swamp Preacher's Fellas? Please discuss. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that was an interesting bump, but no, surely not. No. Nah. It has... Massive props to Paul. Fantastic friend. Yeah. Diary of a Welshman Club. It's and, funny. And, just and delivering daily. He's got the village idiot fucking rattled. To turn up. And just rattled in that thread, rattled on his profile, rattled all over Big mm. He's so rattled, he's off on the Camry's board, white knighting Subaru there. That's got to be the weirdest come on in the history of Big Footy in terms of those two. <laughs> Pork's thing is... Like, give him a quill. The, the bottom 50 has been good but uh, for an honourable mention, but it's got to be the Welcher thread, Diary of a Welcher. Yeah. It is the best written piece in a long time. Much better than that dog story. Nah, it's not as good as Benoit's thread for written work. And Moffrin's. Why has Moffrin not got a quill? Moffrin needs a quill. Flog of the week. Let's pick someone other than Da Village Idiot. Go, you a a Jack attack. Gong Swan. Yes. Cunt Bosk. <laughs> oh, yeah. What's he, what's he called? A cut yeah. above now. Yeah. A cut above. That's him. Yeah. A cunt above. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fucking nail him. What's what's gone wrong with him? He's gone feral. What's gone wrong with him? He was never really right in the first place. <laughs> no, I used to get on with him all right, but you know, I know, I... I know but he's always been a bit of an asshole, despite. Yeah, but he's now he's a total poster. fucking asshole. I guess that's what happens. Yeah, mm. I want to like him, but he makes it very hard at times. <laughs> I don't want to like him. He's a cunt. See, I like the activity he brings, but he also has to be a cunt. Yeah, that Abby of his just does my head. Do it for Victoria Hawks. Yeah, what's that bullshit? I mean, yeah. it's a national competition. Who fucking yeah, cares? Who well, no, no, but North are more of a Victorian club than Hawthorne. They play less games interstate for fuck's oh, sake. Oh, we just want to see the best team win, that's all. Oh, sorry, can I actually add another honourable mention to the thread of the week? Mm. Yeah. yeah. Ricky's Mad Mondays. Oh, oh yes, yes. Yes, uh, that, was, that was a good thread. Well done, Ricky. Good to see you back. <laughs> for the title alone, I want to nominate the oldest thread on the bay. If I could see one poster <laughs> sodomised by a disease bear. <laughs> Anyone else we had for Flog of the Week? Uh, Jack Attack. All the social justice warrior cunt fucks that came in. I'm going to mention that white knighting flog on the GD board. Oh, yes. That, oh that cancelled his account. What is his name? Paddy. Whatever. That dickhead. He cancelled well. his account. Who cares? He's gone. Oh, no. Actually, can we nominate Calm Them Lions? Yes, yes. that's what I was talking yeah. about. But his, his work in the goods thread, he's the Bay 13 equivalent of Man With No Name. They also nominate Man With No Name because Man With No Name to cunt. And I nominate Pups because I just yes. can't stand him. We've nominated everyone. Who do which one of them we're going to give it to? <laughs> LW. No, I'm, um, I am, uh... Give it to Carmen Lions because <laughs> Carmen Lions. I, I am. I am isolating Carmen Lions. Oh. As, as, oh. As, as he's not on your list, is he? This week. No. 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 Yes. Oh. Yes. yes. That, that, what are we uh, nominating? No. no. Red I, I, now. I, well, you are literally I, I about more. red vested, you dickhead. I'm no. pulling rank. He gets Don't my teach. vote now. Can't pull rank. I'm the fucking senior one here. Teach. Teach. It's because you're old. All of us. I say shut the fuck up. Yeah. Boomer. Harvey might be the oldest player at North, but he's not the captain anymore. You know, no, Teach is more like Michael Fariso, oldest, not being good. <laughs> but I still know how to fucking break okay, the jewel. Okay, who are we giving it to? Calm them lines. The tribe has spoken, Teach. You voted out. I'm going for calm them lines now. Just what thread has he sputtered it up in? I haven't seen him. Uh, it was the good yeah. thread, wasn't it? He went full social justice warrior without actual insight. You know how you, they do it without actually adding anything? They just yeah. accuse. It's basically what like, man with no name. It's very, and, yeah. And Royal, Royal shut him down perfectly by saying, you aren't even old enough to remember Nicky Winmar. And he just had no com- comeback. Because yeah, that he was isn't. true. Royals whacked him. And, like, Blood Rhett made a perfectly good argument in support of goods. Can't them lines just through mud at people. Blood Rhett's been good, actually, this week. Yeah, no, I've liked Blood Rhett's work recently. Most improved. You'll all pay for this. Oh, shut up. <laughs> you're about as friending as your football team. <laughs> Seriously, you're about as intimidating as a paddle pop lion. Let's go to last week's poll. Your favourite older man. 10.5% said Brad Pitt, so I guess that means that 89.5% agree with Penal. 26.3% voted for both Bernie Vince and George Clooney, and 36.8% said I prefer a young woman like Jack Watts. <laughs> Next week's games, and it's all about Friday night, which is probably the more anticipated of the two games. Yeah, disagree. This one's got more potential. In it. No, potential's um, playing Saturday. <laughs> this is a good game. This will be a 
really good game. No, it won't be a good spectacle, but this one should be close. As opposed to other prelims, which is shit. And, you know, Frio have a really weird decision, and I want to ask everyone what they think. If you are Ross Lyon, do you pick Ryan Crowley? Yep. Yeah. Put him on him. Better side. You put him on good bloke. Put him yep, on good bloke? absolutely. Yep. Yeah, because he'll lose it and start smacking people out. <laughs> in the first quarter. I must be the only one thinking he would be a liability. Because I, oh, yeah, I think he would be a liability, too. He yeah, has, you can't on, risk it. He has or zero... put him on Sammy good bloke knees Mitchell. Exactly. He has zero match fitness, guys. He'll blow up after one quarter. He won't be able to risk up. it. That's why you put him on Mitchell. Mitchell can't get run. Get some thigh pads and he'll be right. Maybe this is the one-off thing. Like This reminds me of when Stephen Baker in 2010 was iffy, That's and he had played a really good game in the first one, and they picked him for the replay, and he was fucked. Mm. And I think they can play Crowley one game and get it out of him. And is this the more important one? Is this going to be the harder one for them? Because if they get the MCG, they're either going to get north or they're going to get a travelling west coast. Yeah. No, I, I, think, I, I think he'll one, be cooked by hard next week. This week. You don't take the yeah. risk. I don't think that a stop is going to help him against north. But then you're resting him for a game they might not play. No, no, no. no. You say Crowley, sorry, but 2016 or bust. Yeah, you don't pick him this year. At all? Okay. No. no you pick you him look, this week. Don't you're take not going to need him against north. Let's put it this way. If Frio pick Crowley, we have already won the battle at the selection table. There is no way Fremantle win if they pick Crowley. It's, it, 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 it is Ross Lyon blinking, isn't it? This it isn't, this isn't so much an ace up the sleeve as a calculated risk. And it, it's not a risk that has upside on it like Cyril Rioli in the grand final oh, this year. You up. cannot afford to have Crowley blow up and then sub him out at halftime or something. <laughs> Because you do that, I, they lose. I would not. I wouldn't touch him because uh, a lot That's of their, you. their players are already underdone, and you're playing the best team in the comp. But so, he could be the freshest player on their list. No, nah, I wouldn't do it. I would not pick him. I would not pick him at all. No. You need to pick your most balanced side. I agree with that, but Frio's most balanced side does not exist because they have no balance up no. forward or structure. He hasn't played all year. I just wouldn't play. Him. It doesn't matter. Roll the dice. Actually, you know what you do. You play him and. You you have him run through Mitchell and just knock him the hell out and say, oh, yeah, that's it. Retired. Full Alistair Lynch, eh? Goes no, a Lloydie. Seriously, yeah. line in the sand. Yeah. I would not pick him because I think if you're Frio, you, I don't think this is going to do it. But I can see the argument. I it's don't just think a really, it's the good. most interesting thing of this week is whether Ross Lyon picks him. I, I hope they do because there's no way we lose if Crowley's out there. you suckling playing? Yes, you can't. <laughs> <laughs> and no Power Ranger Guernsey, as I mentioned before. So that must suck, eh, Penal? I am surprised that we're not wearing the Power Rangers jumper because I would have thought that our home jumper with all the uh, with all the brown in it would have clashed with Fremantle shorts, especially if they picked Crowley. Oh. I imagine um, Paddles would be tipping us then if it, if it were on because there'd go, be no jumper curse to worry Mr. about. September. Langford, the, the guy who already looks like a heroin junkie. Yeah, Hodge got to him fast, didn't he? Yeah. Good bloke. Good bloke. Yeah. Oh, what a smack he looks like. He did win him a VFL game last week. The tips. Who gives Fremantle a chance or who thinks Fremantle could win this? Hawthorne to win by 60 points and fuck off her as a I agree. I think we'll win by about 10 or 11 goals in this one. I really do. I'm really confident about this one. Like I was last week, I said we'd win about by 80 points or something. And, you know, we we did and got the same feeling about this week. Hawthorne by a mile. Hawks. Frio by five. Ooh. Hawthorne in extra time. Ooh. A bit of extra time. At... Who tips a draw on the final? Okay. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> you tip the draw well, six times. Yeah, that's not during the Dan season. That's fine. Finals. Not during the finals. Come on. Oh, there's a line you just crossed it yes yeah fucking uh, line i didn't even know yeah i took your tip seriously but now i just don't now <laughs> i'll just wait till the next tip i make yeah eh? um, oh god go hawthorne if crowley plays free ov doesn't Ooh. i'll go with hawthorne by 24 points and the other game which is west coast versus north the Brad Scott Cup once again, but this time it's finals. If North play their very best and a lot of things go their way, they have a chance of winning this. Oh, North will win. Yeah, no, I, I also reckon North will win. I think West Coast will be a bit cocky and North will get the jump on them and, and surprise them. Don't worry, Dan, North will win. You guys are yeah. assholes. You guys are real, real assholes. It's you be don't a mean it. I, I actually do. You're you, so you sincere. You speak no. so uh, uh, Penal actually said See. two weeks ago that it was going to be a Hawthorne North Grand Final. So no, he, I, was, I was talking I, about Fifo. Yeah, I know. Fifo's full of shit. I actually, I know I actually mean it because I kind of hate West Coast. I'm only saying like, it like you, you hate the dogs more. Well, you, you, you lot kind of were. I still think you were. No, no. I genuinely thought you would win just like I genuinely think you will get smacked this week. West Coast. I'm staying with North. North Melbourne. West Coast by 20. I'm going to go West Coast by 96 again. <laughs> West Coast by 80. <laughs> 
Boo Mojave to get suspended again and miss out on the record because he gets another six weeks. It'd <laughs> be interesting to see the Nat Nui Goldstein ruck battle. That'll actually be a pretty good one. For, for something that's mm. such an epic contest, no, there's not been a lot written up about that. Because one of them's only an All-Australian ruckman and the other one didn't. Make it this <laughs> Nat Nui's already an All-Australian he, ruckman. In the forward pocket. No, nah, one, of them, one <laughs> of them's a highlight reel and the other one's a workhorse. They're not comparable. So you're saying that's like comparing Dangerfield to Rioli? Correct. I'm going, I'm going for... Figueroa to Rioli or Wingard to Rioli or Higgins to Rioli? I'm going for North <laughs> Coast. <laughs> Go away, Tim. Oh, shut up. I don't, up. I don't get the hype around Natanui. He only does one good thing a game. Fuck shut up, you get my oh. fucking shut up. Fucking pot kettle mm. black. I'm just glad we end up getting Watts. <laughs> Ten points to North Melbourne, you fucking idiots. North by a point. Yes, sir. Yes. Do it for Victoria North. Do they play for the best North Tasmania. <laughs> <laughs> Tassie Derby Grand Final. And finally, the Brownlow's on, and we are intending on going on live, and you can once again suggest ideas of what we can do and drinking games we can have and other things. We do have... Um, when is the Brownlow? Is it this weekend or what? Monday. It's next Monday. Next Monday. So when we're usually recording, yep. yeah. Teach doesn't crash Skype again. <laughs> How many password resets did you have to do, Teach? Seriously. <laughs> How many new accounts yeah, did you create? <laughs> he, 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 went, he went full Robbo. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it worked, yeah, because you got those three extra chicks on your contacts now. <laughs> Curly yeah, Entity I'm, I'm, or whatever her name is. Once we're off, I'm going to get in contact with uh, <laughs> Poochie Mistress. <laughs> But no, we will be on and we'll hopefully do our tips then, but not everyone will be here. And I guess we've got some time to change our minds in the next four days because, you know, finals form matters. There's weather as well that Teach needs to take into account. <laughs> weather, yes. Any weather it's at Eddie Head or not. <laughs> <laughs> the roof open or closed. How will that affect? Someone's hair. Fife's hair. Prittis' oh, well, hair. No, nah, Prittis won't be there because West Coast will be playing grand final. Who wants to go first? Who wants to pick the winner? Oh, the, brown the winner one. will clearly be Matt Prittis. Teach, can, can, yeah, you, Prittis. can you ask PT Mitrus, um, um, who she thinks the brown is going to go to. <laughs> Prittis. No. Hashtag Prittis to immortality. He's lucky to get an invite, let alone win it. The guy who puts out the bins down from Dan's place is going to go, fucking Matt Prittis again. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag Prittis to immortality. Hashtag Dan to explode. <laughs> No, I'm going with five. Five will get it. I reckon uh, Sam, this is Sam Mitchell's year. He'll become oh. a two-time Brownlow medalist. Two-time moral medalist. At least two-time he doesn't have to shoot the first one. No, he'll only be a one-time moral medalist because this one he should have lost for knee cunts. I'm on the Hanover bandwagon. I think he'll win it. Grimace. Yep. I'm going to go okay. to Field. Goldstein. Going to be won by a ruckman for the first time in freaking forever. I'd love that. And I'd love Jack. to see Goldie win it. He would be so disappointed for a winner, but I don't think he'll get more. I think, oh, Bernie. <laughs> If, if that happens, if that happens, I hope we have morgues on. Oh, you're just, be you're just oh, I'll be on too. You're sucking, you're sucking up the morgues. You are. He's being Why positive. I'm sucking up to Bernie because I love it's him. Positivity <laughs> teach. He'd be more yeah, deserving I'll, than I'll, I'll just... I'm pretty sure Bernie is Jack's favourite older man. <laughs> so yeah, this was the flogcast for prelim final week. Starburns joined by Dan. Yeah. You don't know Jack. Bye. Teach. Oh, oh. <laughs> Penal. See ya. Cookson. Peace out. Morgs. Go north. And Hadouken. Boss status still a cunt. <laughs> <laughs> See you next week.